Good morning. Today's feast day of St. Benedict. He um, is the founder of the Benedictines, go figure. Um, but he's also known as uh, the, the, one of the fathers of monasticism and really creating um, a structure for the monastic life, um, creating a, a, a rule, the rule of St. Benedict, which is kind of the rule that oversees um, all of monasticism. Um, and it's uh, rooted around prayer, chastity, and obedience, of course, the vows that religious take, um, different from the promises that priests make. We make promises of, um, what do we make promises of? Obedience. Um, obedience to the bishop. Cha- no, not chastity, celibacy. Yeah, celibacy. There's a difference with celibacy and chastity and simplicity. We don't really promise that. It's just kind of understood that we, we live simple lives. <laughs> Yeah, we don't know. Okay, anyway. I, I know I made a promise of obedience to the bishop. Twice. Um, but if we look in our own lives, the, the, the evangelical uh, councils of prayer, uh, poverty, chastity, and obedience, uh, those, are, those are things that really all of us are called to live out um, in our own way, in our own state of life. And one of St. Benedict's uh, tools for his religious was, again, the, the rule of life. Um, and it's become kind of trendy in recent years for young people to like write out a rule of life, which I think is a little bit overkill. Um, but to have something kind of in your mind where you know you're saying this is this is my rule of life that outside of church, that outside of just coming to mass, this is how I'm living and how I'm living my faith. This is how I'm interspersing prayer throughout my day. This is how I'm detaching myself from the world and poverty so that I can recognize that I belong only to God. And then also uh, in my chastity and my uh, freedom to love God and neighbor, uh, for all of us, we, we had to have some sort of, uh, of rule or at least bullet points. Um, what time we say our prayers first thing in the morning, um, how we uh, prepare ourselves uh, to come to Mass, how we prepare ourselves to make a good integral confession on a regular basis, how we interact with others charitably, how we proclaim the gospel to others in the world. Of course, Jesus sends his apostles out and he says the kingdom of heaven is at hand, cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. And so Christ gives this commission to his apostles to send them out so that they may proclaim the gospel. All of us are commissioned to do the same thing, to proclaim the gospel by our lives. We must have some sort of structure in our life to be able to do that. We must have some sort of organization, some sort of uh, internal governance so that we can recognize how we are called to be evangelizers, how we are called to witness to Christ in the world. And so let us continue to pray through the intercession of St. Benedict that he who was known for work and prayer, that in all things we do, we may give glory to God.